we're now talking to two young people from South Burlington. Burlington. All right, one from Burlington. What is your name? Michelle. Michelle, and your name is? Mike Blair. And Mike, you're from South, South Burlington. Burlington. Michelle, you're from Burlington. Well, let me start off by saying it's an interesting hairdo. Thank you. Lipstick, <laughs> lipstick is also very interesting. Col the color screen will focus in on it. It seems to be a black. Is that right? All right, so let me ask you the obvious question, all right? Mm -hmm. What does your dress mean? What does it say, or it doesn't mean anything, or um, what? It's just basically saying to heck with society, to heck with law and order. Well, it's not so much law and order, but... You're saying to the mayor to heck with law and order? Um, it's just <laughs> basically saying that you can do whatever you want to do, and it doesn't matter. I can be punk rock if you want to say it I don't like the way society's run okay well let's it's a cop out everybody's plastic all right and, and all right talk about that what don't what's what specifically what are the aspects of that society that you don't like how would you like to see it change people are not open-minded enough they think that in order to be stable in society you have to have money you have to live in a suburb you have to do the set things, such as have so many people over for dinner a night, a week, or you're not socially acceptable. You've got to dress a certain way to be socially acceptable. And I don't believe in having to belong to anything to be a person. I can do basically what I, what I want with my appearance with my attitude, and it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Well, well, that's a good statement. I appreciate that. And would you like to add to that? Well, about the dress, it's just, it's for, it, it shows the way you feel, you know? Like, people wear black because they're not feeling too good about what's going on around them. Like, some of the stuff that goes on in the society, you know, it's basically baloney. And, like, people say that the democracy is so truly free and I mean that's fine but the the way we're living in this democracy isn't a true democracy and like to they everybody's always complaining about depression and such well that's gonna happen in the democracy it's natural because if you have a democracy there's gonna be capitalists and like I, I guess that I mean they shouldn't be complaining because that's what they asked for you know, what kind of what kind of society would you like to see? Um, well, I'm kind of an anarchist, but communism doesn't bother me like a true communism where it just goes to like no freedom of enterprise because then everybody gets a chance to to live and be safe, you know. But when it goes as far as cutting down people's freedom of speech, you know, that's not that's not. I don't feel that's right. So you're distinguishing between what you mean as true communism as opposed right. to what exists, say, in the Soviet Union. Yeah. Yeah, Marx's idea of um, communism was a lot different than what they have it now. I'm kind of an anarchist, too, but I don't believe in total anarchy because then we're just going to kill ourselves. I just don't like the way it's run now. How do you feel society can be changed? Well, if we could go into the archives and see what the government's really been doing for the past I don't know how long, many years, then we'd all be pretty appalled and sickened by it because we think we're so free, we think we're so democratic, everybody has a say, we're just as imperialistic as the Soviets are, if not more. We're the ones that go into the other countries and we start wars. What really scares me is that we've never had a war in our own country. We don't know what it's like. We push our luck. Maybe one day we will get invaded and then maybe we'll know what it's like. Also, um, with uh, communism and democracy, like one government always makes the makes the people in its country feel that the other government's trying to impose on them. Well, that's not really true. They just want to be the way they want to be, and we should just want to stay the way we want to, and not try and spread our beliefs onto someone else. Okay. So what did you guys think of your own high school education? Um, the education itself was good. Um, I'm going to college now, which is also good. What college are you going to? Um, Community College, Vermont. Mm -hmm. 
but the environment is not the best. A lot of blackballing goes on. If you do one thing wrong, well then the, you're considered throughout the whole year, throughout your whole stay there as a bad person. I don't know. It's, it's odd. And if, if you dress radically, then you're... You dress radically, right? <laughs> yeah. Can we say that? Yeah. <laughs> That's a fair statement. If, if you don't dress like everybody else, then they automatically think there's something, yeah, wrong, something with wrong with you. Also... They send you away. Yeah. And with school, like, the education part is fine, but they do so much programming to everybody to make them feel like teachers will poke fun at me a lot, you know. Um, I'm not going to mention any names because they probably wouldn't be too pleased if they heard about that. But they specifically point out at me that, like, I'm trying to ruin their government. I don't care what they do. I just want to live the way I want to live, you know. Okay, well, thank you very much for your forthright views. Okay, see ya. Thank you. Okay, our, the next person that we...